It has been a really long time. Raid Shadow Legends. Recently, I watched a video with Ivy Lee taking a break from Raid. She's taken a step back to do EE, Eternal Evolution, and focus on Infinite Magic Raid. I'll leave a link to all of her channels down below. Even her older Raid videos are still viable, so go check those out. I want to know from you guys, do you even want to hear from me covering Raid Shadow Legends? Let me know down below in the comments, would you like to see Stu Gaming play a little Raid? What I also want to talk about is the scandal that's going on with content creators. YouTube has put fail safes into the game that lets you know that when we're doing a video, it is a paid promotion. That way that if we talk about the packs, if we say that there's great deals for you to buy or there's great summoning events, that you know this is a paid promotion promotion, that we're not trying to sway you and trying to make money off you. But there's content creators out there that make an obscene amount of money, more money than probably most of you ever will. And it always seems like it's the people who have the most money that just want to use other viewers and people as dollar signs, or even games and enjoyment as dollar signs. Like they care, they care nothing for you. They care nothing for actual games and enjoyment of games, but all they want to do is make money. And YouTube has done this because we click this button that says, hey, this is a paid promotion. And you see that on the video, right when it comes up. And this is a legal thing that we're supposed to do whenever we're getting money. And you wonder why content creators push certain games so hard. You're like, why does this guy keep trying to sell me on Incarnate? This is a shit game, why? Well, the owner told me a long time ago that they have a controlling interest in that. So when you spend money, they make money. So they're pushing it very hard. Same thing happened with Summoner's Glory multiple times. Same thing happened with World War Doe. Go check out that game. You'll understand what I'm talking about. And the same thing's happening right now with EE. There's a contract that when you use the download link, you spend money in the game, they get somewhere around 30% of whatever your spending is. And that's not a necessarily bad thing, but legally, YouTube, you're supposed to mark on every single one of those videos because you have a monthly contract with that company to get a percentage of whatever any of your players spend kicked back to you, which as you know, would be a crazy amount of money if there's a lot of you playing the game and spending on the game. But where I don't like things like this is that you as the viewer do not know that. You don't know that when they're loading up these videos, they're not clicking that button. They're not saying that, hey, every one of these videos is a paid advertisement. I do have a contract, in fact, with that company. I am being paid by that company. So legally, I'm supposed to check that and they should tell you. They should say, hey, when you use my link, I get 30% back on any money you spend. And then it's in the open. Then you know, you're like, okay, I like this game. I don't mind supporting this content creator. And I know that when they're telling me to buy these packs, when they're really, really pushing or really saying that something's great in this game or that it's amazing, that you understand where they're coming from, that it's a drive to make money. And that's all it's been about money. These are the type of people that honestly, if the devil told them, Hey, I'll give you $5 for everyone you can convince to suck me off. And they could think they could get enough people to do it they would do it. It's just about money. It's not about community. It's not about gaming. And I just, I guess I'm old school. I guess I'm just a dreamer is what it is. I would love everybody to do things because they love it because they absolutely love a game and they want to promote that game or they love just the community of bringing people together and doing this game together and not just about, Hey, I need a third Lambo. <laughs> I just don't think, I don't think that's right. And I think that YouTube has tried to make that a law, they've put that in place so you know that. And I think they should go further with it that anytime that content creators are getting kickbacks for things like this, for all the games that you've ever seen the person in question promote, every single one, that it's all and only about money. And just to let you know, it took two weeks to convince EE that I did not wanna do profit share, that I just wanted to be paid to do videos like I normally do. And they eventually did. They let me get paid for two videos. I did those videos and my hands are clean. I don't need you to download a link. I just introduced the game to you. It's amazing for me because I get to play new games, which I'm doing all the time. I get to talk to you about those new games and I'm done. It is out of my hands. I got paid. It doesn't matter if you play it or not. And I'm not going to try to convince you to do something just thinking about the dollars. I know I have not been busy with videos lately. I probably do about eight a month, but I'm just enjoying myself, relaxing, playing Project Nights, playing Watcher of Realms, looking for these games to come out globally. I'm looking for a game to really, really pull me in, something that I really want to play 
every single day. And until then, I'm just gonna do reviews on games that are coming out. I'm gonna do sponsored videos. So I hope you stick with me. Eventually we'll get to something that we both love and I'll enjoy waking up every day and covering that full time. That's all I've got right now, guys. You let me know. I know there's Ronda Rousey in the game. I know that there's a new dungeon coming that we get more main stats on our artifacts that we can roll for that. I've seen videos on all this kind of stuff. Let me know, is it a good time to come back to raid? I've never done anything with the red stars. I've never done anything with the new talents that we get from the red stars. I haven't gone back through the doom tower. I honestly have not loaded up raid shadow legends since I left. Well, I've loaded up like two or three times to get some um, something going on with the guild or somebody asked me to check something like that, but I haven't played the game. So let me know your thoughts on Raid. Would you like to see me come back? What do you want me to cover? Do you just want to see my face? Talk about Raid Shadow Legends. Please let me know down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I will see you all in a video soon.